Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, we finally unlocked the river. I just bought it. I meant to be recording it, but I wasn't for the uh, buying procedure. And uh, the game saves automatically, so there you go. I got the river unlocked. And uh, I did like about an hour and a half worth of basic farming runs, nothing too crazy. Did some experimenting with uh, certain tiles, bringing certain ones out. We'll talk about that when I go to the deck screen. We have four of our watchtowers now, so all of these. I think our next big updates that we want to do or upgrades are upgrading each of these just to make that area around our camp just insanely strong. Uh, so I placed the river here and then it made this whole deal, which is super cool. I don't know how these work yet in game, but this is neat. And uh, here's our four watchtowers. So let's get going. Now, I have an idea for my deck build. I don't know if this is going to be good or if this, or if we're just going to like die immediately. It's super possible. But I'm trying to slim down the deck where I can. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, our new river card because it looks like it doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. So I'm thinking we put a bunch of forest by these or thickets, which give 2% attack speed, that gets doubled really, really quickly. Like, very, very powerful. And then we also have uh, rocks and mountains that could be doubled by this. I don't know if placing these around our peak would be a good idea, but that's something we could try. Uh, we're going to run skeletons, villages, groves, and blood groves. Excuse me. Most of these we're going to put around our base to have help from the uh, archers. We're going to go battlefields for chests, spiders to kind of simmer down uh, cemeteries potentially, and then oblivions to get rid of some problems. It's a very small condensed deck, but I want to try it. I think it's going to be okay. This is what I was running without rivers. Actually, I was doing uh, deserts and forests when I was farming, and uh, that was okay. The deserts are... F I find these like mixed because the enemies are, are weaker, but so is your hero and so are your skeletons. So I think overall, it doesn't even net neutral. It just like gets to the point where everything is weak. And so the things that strike first typically just win. And the things that strike first typically aren't us because we have to spawn in our skeletons. So it, I don't know. I'll come back to those at some point. But we're going to try forests. We're going to try rivers. We're going to try rocks for some HP. And uh, let's just see how we do. Let's. I'm not going to bring a treasury. I'm going to try and like run it to the boss. I would love to see if that's possible. So Necro, chapter three. Let's begin. Okay, where are we going to put the arsenal? Let's put it like way over here. And then we can throw in this shield. Okay. Okay, thickets and mountains. Let's do... Uh, let's go here. Forest. I, now, I don't know how the, how the river tile placement works. So let's maybe wait for a river to figure that out. There's a river. Okay. So, uh, where can I put this? Whoa, that is unique. <laughs> can I only put this on the outer tiles or what? How does this work exactly? River. And then if I put something next to it, this should be 4% attack speed. Oh my God. That's going to get unruly very quick. Another river. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. River's got to connect. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So now, wait a second. What's the best way to, to place these? I'm guessing we want to do, like... If they have to all be connected, they can kind of drive anywhere. But what if we just do along the outside? And then we just do, like, our forest in there. Or we do, like, a snake pattern leaving space for forests in between. I'm going to run it down like this, but I'll try to make sure we don't cut it off. I don't know if you can start a new river. Actually, I don't think you could because it didn't let me place it anywhere else. 
So we'll have to really mind our... We'll have to be very cautious about how we place these. Okay. Oh, and what I should have probably done then is moved our mountain way inwards if we're going to do this circle. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's do groves around our base. It's going to like slam this with enemies. We have one tower that can reach two tiles away. Uh, our other towers uh, can reach here. But top priority is getting those watchtowers leveled up right now. That's going to make a huge difference. Especially early on when we can just like spam that area with stuff. Okay. Uh, Any time now. Give us something cool. Any ring. I'll take any ring. Literally anything. Yep. That's... Yeah, you gave me the worst that you could. That's awesome. Thanks. Very nice. I think my logic for the deck build is okay. Interested to see how this goes over time. I also hope this logic works. I think that makes a lot of sense. Attackers get the thick slime effect. Minus 10% damage till end of battle. That's really kind of nasty. Okay, well, we're getting plenty of these. Here's our grimoire. Very nice. So after 10 trees, we'll get one of those uh, training dummies, which seems to be literally inconsequential. Like, no problem at all for uh, the necromancer. I can see problems coming for the other classes, though, big time. Okay. Blacksmith's hammer. One defense. Yeah, see, like, you literally can't place this anywhere else. I wonder if you ended up cutting this off. If it would then let you place a new one. That would be kind of cool. Oh, it even changes the art. Ah, that's awesome. We haven't seen that very much, except for when, uh... When we have, like, transformations and stuff. There's our upgraded watchtower, buddy. Regen by. Uh, we'll keep the attack speed over the defense. <laughs> We're up to 31 attack speed. That's wild. I wonder if you could run this without any mountains and just keep your base HP. I think you'd really be dependent on getting like the best possible drops, but. Now, another thing, so we have uh, three of those magnifying glasses where we uh, we could find 30% chance, basically, to find a higher rarity item. But the arsenal drops item quality by 15%, and I think that's across the board. I don't think that's just for the item that's added. Um, so I'm hoping that by the higher chance of finding rare items, that that minus 15% is mitigated just a little bit. Summon quality. Let's take... Uh... I, right now, it's not a huge deal, I don't think. Famous last words. We'll blood grove this area. With a bunch of blood groves, if possible. It's been very generous at throwing out a lot of uh, trees so far, but not much else. There you go. Okay, so let's place this here. Which way is our loop? Yeah, let's place this here. I'm okay with fighting ghosts, and we get the chest early. Uh, spider cocoons. We can do with a cemetery somewhere. Another river. Uh, for now, where do we want to place this? 
Actually, for now, let's just spam our base. Let's just throw... If I get more spiders without a cemetery, I'm just going to throw it all in here right now. Okay, so there's our peak. And there's the cemetery. Right on cue. There's our blood grove. Excellent. <laughs> wow. 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 So, quality and skeleton level. Let's just go here. Don't have any fancy shields yet. Uh, let's not place a mountain. I mean, we could oblivion it, I guess, the goblin camp. Let's wait. Let's wait. I'd like to get to the point where I could kind of experiment with these rivers and just see what the impact is. Like, this is plus 6 HP for every adjacent mountain or rock tile. But if I just put a river here, do we get 6 HP from that? Or probably not. I'm guessing that would mostly just boost solo mountains. Like if I put this? I don't know. Second village would spawn a bandit camp. Here comes training dummies. Totally fine with those. Holy smokes. Thank God for the archer, buddy. Look at these spiders. That'll change over time, but holy smokes. Okay, so I don't want to go lower there. I'm not going to place this at all until we figure out what we're going to do with this river. See, like, if I snake the river up, I can't place force on these tiles, but that's fine. I also don't know if they stack. So, like, is snaking the right option? If I snake all the way up here, I'm kind of wasting a side of this river, right? Right? Whereas realistically, what it should be doing, river should be here, and then we snake so that we can do forest on the outside. Yeah, I think that's a little mistake there. I think I made a little bit of mistake. Uh, here we go. Okay. Resurrection charge is nice. Uh, whole resource spear instead of a chunk. We're pretty early, but like... I mean... It's okay. Or we could just heal. I'm gonna take the resurrection charge. We don't have any plus one skeletons right now. We're taking a lot of damage here. Okay, so... Brass Candlestick. Heroes damage increased by 5%. Oh, the Road Lantern thing. That's fine. So, we don't have wheat fields. I'm just going to place this. Get rid of that.
I really need to improve our max skellies. This is painful. There's a big boy, though. Our, and our skeleton level is just crap. <laughs> Good thing we took that. Holy smokes. Like, I got nothing here. No good drops. Let's go here because now these things help adjacent tiles. Oh, actually putting the... Yeah, this next to this actually might be the right idea. Yeah, okay. So I think we're going to loop there, right? Now, if I go up this side, it's kind of wasted. Right? It just makes this one kind of useless. So maybe I can go like across. Yeah, that that's... We bummed that up pretty big. Well, live and learn. I just can't believe we're not getting anything for skeleton quality. We're at loop five at 2.7 level. It's rough. You love to see it. I'm, pl I'm holding on placing these because I want to figure out what we're going to do with river cards. This guy should drop something for us. There we go. Holy smokes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. And we still only have two max skeletons. I think we replace this one. So summon quality is 18. The level's 4.7. Still not as nice as I'd like it to be. But it is what it is. Did I break something? <laughs> Where's the levels in the, the skeletons? Maybe the ghost. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We got ghost of a ghost. Okay, let's rock. That's it. We got a rock got a rock okay well i'm gonna place these so let's think about this if i river along the outside we're only better fitting that one if i bring it up in here and go across there's not any space there's a little bit of doubling up space here but then i have to come down like this and then up and then in and then i could double up all of that area if i come out through here then we run into a similar kind of scenario so maybe that's what i'll do is i'll snake around here uh, come on over through this way and we can double up these tiles, hit all this. This is river, 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 up, river, 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 and then all of this is doubled. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to place goblins right now. That seems dangerous. Especially if I can't get our, our skeleton level going. Or the max skeletons. Come on. I mean, it's an improvement. But we lose out on evasion, summon quality. I don't think that's the trade we want to make. There we go. Max skeletons. Finally. Okay. You've been holding out on me. Uh, we're not going to drop level. This will improve skeleton level. Gives us attack speed. Uh, let's replace this one. Now we're at 5.16. That's better. And do we want to take less magic HP for summon quality? I think so. These are like free battles, thankfully. I feel really bad that we had to use up that resurrection charge because that's one less trait that we're going to be able to have. Uh, nope, we're good. Okay, boss over here. Here's our reward. Summon quality? Nah. I think this is kind of the sweet spot. 35 to 50% on summon quality. Basically guarantees that uh, you'll get something in if you can get your skeletons out. And the math didn't work twice in a row, actually, because we summoned in three in both of these last fights and didn't get a special. And there's a fourth. Now, I don't know... So notice how one of these was archers, right? And in chapter three, if you have something adjacent, the archer's skeletons will come and attack the adjacent tile as well. I don't know if the spawn on the tile is random. That's kind of what it feels like. I guess I can go here. We still get some protection from camp. This area is getting real sweaty, though. Old frying pan. So our attack speed's at a casual 65% right now. Now this next river placement shouldn't give us anything. 65... Oh, it does. Wait, so this does this does stack, huh? Okay, so hold on. If we go, this is one percent. So now we should go to seventy-one percent. We're only going to seventy percent. I wonder why that one's not being doubled. Weird. Weird. Super weird. <laughs> Let's put spiders with these guys. Seems okay. Maybe I don't totally understand the math here because I was thinking this one's already getting doubled, so maybe it didn't stack, but... All right, there's an oblivion. We can place all these mountains here. Right before camp, too, which is sick. Now, I should consider something. So, if I am able to get my river all the way out here. So, river up. Uh, over like this. Up in here. Keep each side. Right? And we set... We run up here. 
something like this over like this you only get one side from here and then like we're full but that's like the dream scenario i think i don't know if we'll make it that far um yeah so basically what that means is let me put all these mountains over here for now Ooh, level nine. Hold up. Skeleton level boost, but we would then go down a skeleton. Don't love it. First two skeletons summoned in a day will be strengthened with these plus three times loop HP after skeleton's death. Or healing as we go. Uh, the skeleton summoned in a day feel... I don't know what strengthened means. Like, if they're super strong, then maybe that's cool. Let's see. You'll never, we'll never find out otherwise. This is a pretty big jump. Uh, we would lose some summon quality though, which is I think okay. And then if I can get a plus one skeleton somewhere else, I'll put this shield in for sure. Okay, one skeleton strengthened by morning. So is this just more damage or health too? Not sure. Okay, where are my rivers at? I kind of wish there was just like a demo, like a practice mode where you could go in and just mess with placement. Jeez. Okay, so this is all river here all day. Do, 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 do. And then we want to go up like this. Our skeleton level is still a bit low. Like, I feel like if we dropped, if we do drop to that two skeletons, we're going to regret it. Well, what is that? Presence. Lowers attack speed of allies. Okay. Whoa, we got ghost of a ghost. 20% chance of missing regardless of target's evade value. This is getting nasty out here. Okay, so let's see if this is going to do anything. So our attack speed's 80. Now it's 84. Holy crap. So it does stack. So this one thing is now, instead of 2%, this is worth 4% from here and 4% from here, so 8%. Whoa. Which means that even our, like, thicket placement actually does kind of matter. It does matter. Now, the question will be, what if these tiles, what if this only impacts one of these? We'll see with our next forest card or with our next river card, if that's the case. So river in here and then up. Uh, let's do a battlefield around here. I could battlefield right here, but kind of we need that chest at the beginning. Here's a max skeleton we could take. We could trade a little bit of skeleton level on the left. I think the smaller skeleton level, smaller attack speed. We keep the lower level ring. Take that and then swap out this shield to increase our skeleton level overall and maintain the three skeletons. I think that's good. Okay, let's take a break here. When we come back, we'll probably die, but maybe not. We'll see. See you in the next one.